what's up guys today we're doing another tier list uh but today we're doing a special tier list for operation heavy metal we're doing a solo queue tier list who should you guys play in solo queue who are the best ops to play in solo queue and you can't rely on comms and you can't rely on really that much teamwork support so today we're ranking the operators based on that how good are they when you play solo queue and you can't really rely on communicating with your team as much let's go through it yeah we're gonna be doing left to right and just going through all the operators we will start with ramfords because you know it is one of the first operators uh for heavy metal that people are going to be curious about solo queue i'm gonna say ram will be a a tier operator you have a good gun gadget works solo queue and uh i mean can't really go wrong with that ram is definitely a game changer with how much audio that she makes and it definitely makes it easy to, you know, do an aggressive play by masking everyone's audio, mask your own audio, and you can just throw, them, throw them through barricades, like pushing in aggressively. Ace, S tier solo queue operator, best hard breach to play for solo queue. Let's go through all the hard breaches really quick. Thermite, D tier. That's going to make everybody like be like, whoa, Senva, what are you doing? Thermite is one of the worst operators to play in solo queue. He is literally the definition of a team operator. It is not fun to play Thermite in solo queue. Uh, sometimes you won't even get the wall. You just have to run around and just, you know, use the 5.56. With... Definitely sucks. You bought him a little bit better for solo queue because at least you're still a three speed and, you know, your breaches are, you're still pretty safe when you do it. So, boom. Alibi. Solo queue. Uh, Alibi, I'm going to say, I'm going to say AIDS here for solo queue. You make rotates and you can run around and like shoot people out. So you can do a, you can do a bit with Alibi, but you do have to be a shooter. Alibi being eight tiers, you have to be a shooter. So I will move Alibi down one tier actually, because you do have to really be a shooter. Otherwise, you're not really going to get in full effectiveness from the Alibi. Amaru, uh, C tier. I mean, if you can make a play happen, it's awesome. Uh, very situational. It's usually going to work one time per game on certain maps. So a little rough. Aruni for the solo queue, definitely A tier. Definitely A tier. DMR, you have barb, you have traps, you can hold down everything and, you know, spray them down. Honestly, kind of want to shift to S tier, but I'm going to leave A, A tier because Aruni's really slow. You got the Ash. Ash is going to be an A tier, solo queue up, speed, entry. Can't really go wrong with that, yeah? You got the Azami S tier. Azami just one of the strongest operators in the game. Same with Solus. Same with Fenrir. Three operators, powerhouses. All of them have amazing abilities, good guns. You can do so much with these ops, even in solo queue. All of them are amazing. Now let's do another controversial one. Valkyrie, D tier. D tier. Who's watching your cameras besides yourself? You literally have to get on your camera, swap. Actually, I'll put C tier because sometimes that can still work with like nitros and stuff. And you still have an MPX and a good gun with speed, so. Bandit. D tier. Bandit D tier. If you've ever died bandit tricking because a you get shot in the back or shot through the floor or grenaded or whatever. Honestly, it's just very annoying trying to trick a wall when you're a bandit. It's not great. Blackbeard, D tier. Blackbeard is just overall pretty weak. And if you're going to be baiting as Blackbeard, solo queue, your team's dying all around you. That's not going to, not too much is going to go down. Blitz, we're going to put C tier. A little bit more effective. Brava, definite D tier. Could not say that any stronger. Buck S tier. Buck S tier because you're able to do a little bit of everything as Buck. Uh, you've gone six. You have harbor charges. You have good guns. Soft reach destruction. You can do literally everything as Buck. You don't really need anyone else. Speed wish zero. Also an S tier. Can do everything by yourself. Don't really need anyone else. Capital. Leave Capital at the A tier. Still a good solo queue operator. You have smokes, you have fires, you have a gone six, good gun, and harbor charges. Honestly, Swiss Army knife of utility. Castle. Oh, def definite D tier. Oh my god. 
Jeff appreciate the seven months up, man. How you doing? Definite D tier. Warden, A tier. Warden is more of a shooter than Alibi in my eyes, and you can do a lot more as Warden versus Alibi. Can't really set up the site, but I still feel like Warden should be A tier because Warden is just... Warden will win you games occasionally, and it's not a lot I can say. Uh, he's not S tier because the utility is lower, but like Warden's kit right now is just so goddamn amazing. That's why his win rate's so high. Cavi, D tier. Don't play Cav in solo queue. That's just terrible. Also, Clash. Like, just don't play these in solo queue. You're going to lose so many games. Doc, A tier. Heals are nice. Uh, I'm gonna actually S here. I'm gonna S here for Doc. You have a good gun with 1-5. You hold down the site. Uh, you can heal. And you can make site rotates. Honestly, can't really go wrong with that. On the other hand, you have Rook. Who can't do a lot of that. But Rook is still pretty good. At least everyone will still get armor. Can't make rotates though. Doka B. S tier. The easiest way to coordinate solo queue players. Those those calls. Speaking of which, Jackal as well. Jackal as well. Echo. Uh, what do you got for Echo? I'm gonna place Echo like near Rook, but slightly higher. A little bit more utility on the Echo. You got the Ella. Definitely doesn't belong in that range. It's not more appropriate guns pretty good traps are nice for the, the crouch walkers i think uh i think a beats here heals are always nice you have an okay gun uh definitely can function as an entry and those heals no one's going to complain about having free heals so flores flores is always an s tier operator to me but for solo queue i'm definitely going to shift flores down at least one tier because your cameras, when you're on cameras for a long time in solo queue, your team's still doing things, playing aggressive, rushing potentially. And by the time you're done using all your cameras, you, you might be in a 2v5. So just be cautious on how many cameras you use while you're solo. Frost. Oh, easy S here. Just rotates, good gun, traps. Can't really go wrong. And I said Rook can't make rotates because you have to impact the rotates. So you can't make line of sight. You can only make rotations. Doc can do everything and more than Rook can. And the heals are better than just Rook armor. Fuse. Oh, that's, yeah. I don't even know why I was hovering. You have to go above someone. You have to go above a site to use this. Most of the time you're going to get flanked. It's just going to be bad. Glass, just, yeah, just don't. Same with Kelly. Just, just don't, bro. Just don't. Montane, yeah, just same. Just don't play these in solo queue. You're probably going to lose quite a bit. Goyo, beats here. Fast, good gun. Traps, solve them out. You know, can't really go wrong. But there are better options in my eyes. Good luck. I say D, uh, C tier. Not quite D tier, but not amazing because the. When I look at Gridlock, I compare Gridlock to Nomad, and Nomad does everything Gridlock does, but more effective. A tier. Grim. B tier. B tier. Huh? Fast, aggressive. You're going to be able to shoot the traps around corners so you can uh, entry it more effectively. Honestly, not going to be bad. And you do have Harbor Charge. So, Legion, upgraded Legion with the new mine change and a secondary shotgun for rotates. I'm going to say Legion is an S tier operator for solo queue. You have traps to slow people down, for find the entries. You have a good gun. You have a shotgun to make rotates. Honestly, amazing operator, especially with the buff. Ayana, S tier, grenades and speed and gun. Like, I don't even know they say more. Sledge, not speed, but it's not reach. Same as Ayana, just, you know, grenades. Knock. Knock's gun is a little bit trickier, and her speed, her uh, silent d like debuff, kind of sucks. So we're gonna shift her down one, but she still has grenades. So knock can still be a force, but definitely a little bit weaker with the change. IQ. 
Uh, D tier. IQ just can't, you know, you have no utility. You only have a gun. If you're going to pick IQ and solo key, you might as well just bring Grim. Same speed. And Grim has a lot more utility. Jaeg. I'm going to place Jaeger at B tier. He, his abilities can't move around. Well, mine will be S tier. His ability can't move around, so it really depends on how the enemy team is attacking and uh, is your team even playing around it. Well, my, you can just shift around, have a 1-5, you have impacts, you can throw your gadget all over the place on the fly, so a little bit more flexible. Cade, S tier, very easy, very simple, very straightforward on how to use Cade, so. Can definitely be an effective solo queue up. Capkin, of course, people don't drone as much sometimes. Uh, free kills, good gun, and Nitro. Lion, C tier. His entire thing is about having EMP impacts. Uh, and if you're not getting the wall, which is not always the case, you know, it's it's gonna be tough. He's a good gun, I like his ability too, but he's just not a shining, like, you know, he's, he's not great, in solo at least. Mace Joe, D tier, slow fat boy with cameras that shoot zappies at people, like it's just, out of meta maverick maverick solo queue is probably my nightmare when i go to sleep i mean a maverick a wall by myself is just nightmare fuel while my team all sprints around and drops down hatches like that no thanks moosey a tier really easy to coordinate off moosey not quite s tier because moosey is very fat now so it's gonna be hard to maneuver around but traps will make it very easy to know when people are pushing in and very easy to play off the banshees mira S tier, very easy to coordinate off of what Mira's, where Mira's are at. So, you know, very easy to coordinate. And Mira's just such a strong operator. Mozzie, C. Uh, I'm going to place the Mozzie around the alibi. Like, Mozzie can be effective, but you, again, you have to be a shooter. Like, this is like an operator that you're going to have to be a shooter on. Mute. Easy to, you know, play around. Very simple, very straightforward. Obvious and easy to understand. Oryx, especially with the Oryx buff, is actually not bad. Still need to be a cheater, but, you know, can make sight rotations or whatever. Um, solid. Not amazing. Osa. Oh. See, it's here. Osa and solo Q land can, is just usually not super effective. Pulse. Situational can be effective, but you know, it's kind of kind of go up or down Sense, yeah, just don't even bother the chanka I personally think the chanka should be like about C tier right now But I'm placing the chanka at D tier because if people see you pick the chanka they're going to assume you're throwing and You're probably going to lose because people are not going to try Sophia, bat entry. I mean, you have a lot of utility. You have a lot of utility to do with anything you run into, so definitely can be solid. Yeah, it's kind of fat. Smoke. I'm gonna play smoke a little bit further down because in solo queue, it really annoys the hell out of me when I'm smoke holding down what smoke's supposed to do, and I just get flanked because my entire team just dies. And you're left with guns that are a little bit trickier to really take those long range fights that you, you weren't supposed to take in the first place. So mute's a little bit, uh, sorry, smoke's a little bit lower. Why is mute so high? Mute still has a nitro and mutes are playing completely different from smokes. Smo mute can roam around and be a little bit more aggressive. Smokes are usually expected to play a very specific area. And if you don't play there, people don't know what you're doing. And it's solo land, it's just not, not a good value. Thatcher, C tier. Not quite D tier, because I still think the EMPs are really effective. Uh, for like, you know, pushing in and aggressively, like denying all their traps and then pushing in can be effective. Um, but again, definitely more of a team oriented up. Um, Thorn. Again, kind of have to be a shooter for this to be as good as it is. I'm going to place it more like near Warden because they kind of function the same way. Warden has a better gun and Definitely stops the flashbang and smoke rushes. 
Thorn is more of a, you stop the crouch walk around a little bit more, and the gun is about as good as Warden. So definitely I need to be a shooter for that to be that effective. Thunderbird, D tier. Thunderbird is horrible. Just play Doc. Twitch. B tier. I definitely think Twitch is better than Brava in Solo Land. Easier to like zap the, the traps that you actually need de destroyed. Brava, you need to hack it completely and sometimes it doesn't work. Um, Vigil. C tier, I, I guess. No, that's got, it's got, it has to be D tier. Like just, just D tier that. Uh, Ying. A tier. Pretty easy according to Alpha Ying. I'm not quite putting Ying at S tier because when people, when your teammates here, Ying Candela is going off, people are assuming <laughs> rushing and will sometimes throw their lives away. So this list is ranked purely off of solo queue gameplay. So the, if you're a solo queue, you can't rely on team comms. It's basically you against the world and no one's going to talk to you and basically, you know, respond to you. Cause I know a lot of you guys have to deal with that in the rank scene. So this list is for you people. S tier is operators that you will be a very effective while solo queue, even without team comms. A tier, still effective, not as effective. B tier, okay, you're losing effectiveness because you may need teamwork support somewhat, or you don't have enough utility to really offer your team. C tier is like you're you're really like need teamwork support, or you're doing something that's kind of hit and miss. D tier is you really need teamwork support, like almost essentially, or it's. I mean, honestly, that's really what it is. You really need teamwork support at D tier. So it's not that any of these ops are in D tier are horrible, like Thormite's down here, Bandit's down here, like they're not horrible. Same castle, but. Operators that are require a lot of teamwork could potentially be really bad in solo queue. So I su definitely suggest if you are solo queue and playing with people that aren't communicating very well, definitely stay away from D tier. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions on where, where someone should go up, down, left, right, remember this is a solo queue tier list. My other tier list will be linked down in the description down below on the YouTube video, but this is based purely purely for a solo queue i keep emphasizing that because i know i'm gonna hear like why castle d tier have you played with a castle in solo land who's not talking not communicating and just castling random stuff because i have and that sucks don't do it have you played thermite in solo land and you're outside a wall holding your little exo charge thinking i wish someone would help me open this wall and then you end up just having to run up a staircase because you can't open the wall yeah that's what I'm talking about. Uh, let me know down in the comments uh, if you would move an operator up or down a tier. Not just like, when I say that, I mean like, would you move like, let's say, let's say just Grim for example. If you're, if you would say that you'd move him up one tier or down one tier, then you mostly agree with the assessment. But if you're like saying like, hey, Valkyrie should still be S tier. Then yeah, let me know down below in the comments. We can have a conversation about it. But yeah, make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, and leave a like down below for more. Until next time, peace out.